Hey, this is Terry Toots with a quick tutorial on shading a basic road. In the previous video, we covered creating a winding road shape through a hilly terrain. Today, we'll take a look at creating road markings and adding trees along the side of the road. There are several ways to create road markings in Terrigen. One way is to warp additional simple shape shaders with the same warper as our original road, making them thinner in different colors. A simpler option, which I'll show today, is to use an image map, in this case, Road 7 from AmbientCG.com. The first thing we'll do is create an image map shader. Selecting the color file from the downloaded material, and we'll call this Road Image. We need to set this to position center, and we're going to shrink it down to 11 by 11 meters, which will make the image about the same width as our road. Importantly, we'll come to the Flip Repeat tab and check Repeat Y. This will make our image tile along the length of the road. This technique works because our original simple shape shader also extended in the Y direction. Next, we need to warp the image to follow the same path as our road. We'll do this by copying the collection of nodes we used to warp the road mask. Paste it down here. delete the road mask, and replace it with the image shader. Plug the output of the warp shader into the color function input of our road shader. Now we'll come into the road layer and set the color to 0.7. Our image will be multiplied by that color, so this will give us a dark gray road. Now we'll move on to trees. We'll start out by adding a population of Colorado spruces from XROG's basic plant pack. Copy coordinates somewhere near the foreground here and paste them into the population area center. If we populate, we can see that these trees are quite large. So let's bring the scale down to 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and the spacing down to four with some spacing variation. Right now, you'll see that the trees cover the road, so let's fix that. What we're going to do is pull another line off the original warp input shader attached to our road mask and attach it to another color adjust shader. This is similar to what we did to shrink the mask down to a narrow road in the last video. This time though, we won't shrink it quite so far. Set the black point to 0 0.49 and the white point to 0 0.5. This will shrink it to a larger area still following the path of the road. As we can see, if we attach it to the density shader input of the trees, come to the tree population, invert the density shader, and ta da! A road going through the forest. Now we can increase the area of the population to get a forest going off into the distance. You can use some of the same techniques we've shown here to add a shoulder to the road or grass to the forest. You can also add some more details to the road surface itself if desired. You can imagine these same techniques are useful for other terrain features, winding rivers for example. At this point though, you're only a blue convertible away from a relaxing drive through the rolling hills.